Well, hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church. I'm glad you joined me today. I want to talk to you about our theme for the new year. And so I want to be one of the first to wish you a very happy new year for 2015 and tell you that this year our church will be emphasizing a theme of building bridges to our community. And in the process of building bridges, it's very important for us to understand some essential uh, principles that are fundamental to building a strong bridge to reach people. And one of those bridges is the, the bridge of love, loving people in action. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 11, when I was a child, I used to speak as a child, think as a child, and reason as a child. When I became a man, I did away with childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know fully, in, as I, just as I also have been fully known. But now abide faith, hope, love these three, but the greatest of these is love. If you're going to build a bridge to reach people and to take people from where they are to where God would have them to be, you need to build a bridge that's very carefully designed and it needs to be strong. And I submit to you that love is the concrete that holds the bridge together. Because without love, we would not have a desire to reach people without love, we wouldn't even hold together. We'd just all go our own separate way. When it talks about love in the Bible, however, it's not talking about the same kind of love that um, is often used in our current um, communication. For example, you could talk about love and by that you could mean Brotherly love. Well, brotherly love is a good thing. The city of Philadelphia means the city of brotherly love. But brotherly love is not enough to hold us together. I've seen families that had issues with one another, and there was always conditions. Well, you forgot this last year, or you promised this and didn't do it, and uh, the relationship falls apart. That shouldn't be. There's another kind of love, and that is romantic love or emotional love, where people get infatuated with someone or something, or they get into a romantic relationship with someone and it's based upon emotions, but it's not based upon an unconditional commitment. That's eros, erotic love. Another one is family love. You know, they always say that uh, uh, blood is thicker than water, which is true, but when you think about family love, what holds families together a lot is just the fact that they're relatives of one another didn't all choose each other. My kids, unfortunately, didn't get to choose me, uh, uh, and we didn't get to choose them. God blessed us with our children, but family love is not enough to just hold us together. You all know that. So there's another kind of love that God has. That's the love that the Bible talks about. The kind of love that God talks about is unconditional, sacrificial love. That means when I say to you, that I love you, I don't mean in any way except or especially unconditional sacrificial love the same way that God loved me. And I, uh, I want you to know that unconditional love, the love that God would have us to love Him and to love one another, will never fail. The reason it never fails, there's no conditions on it. You know, it doesn't matter what somebody else does if you desire what's best for them without concern for yourself. Well, I hope and I pray for you that this next year of 2015 will be a wonderful year for you and that you'll find faith in God, hope based upon a relationship with Him and experience the kind of love that God makes available to us. God bless you.